Nikon AW1 was a surprise from the beginning. Its durability and its strength and its overall build was a little bit astounding to me just because I wasn't expecting something so robust. Such a broad range of uh, formats to be jammed into this tiny little box of a camera, which is it's indestructible. The first viewing of the video that we shot with it in the water was astounding. In the elements, you can't concentrate on the focus. You're in the moment, things are happening so fast. So to be able to autofocus so quickly and know that it was gonna pin it every time was a major plus. There's no other camera on the market that you can take for a swim, walk up the beach, take a towel, change the lens, get the zoom off, put the wide on. Say hello to everyone, get back out there. There's, just, there's no other camera you can do that with. So that in itself is inspiring young photographers and videographers to do something different faster. The ability to zoom in the water is ridiculous in itself. It's amazing. That flexibility is something that's going to make this a game changer. The function that got me personally was the 400 frames per second. Yes, it's a different quality, but for social media platforms, this is going to change the way people think. Kids everywhere, skateboarding, surfing, swimming around, and getting these super slow-mo shots. It's incredible, and it's going to sort of create a whole lot more little cinematographers around the world. Even the shots that the talent was shooting are usable. These guys are models, not photographers or videographers. Uh, the vision they shot, perfect. The AW1 is incredible in its optics. It's blowing me away with its sharpness and uh, resolution. The convenience and multi-functions of it are you know, amazing. Rugged, indestructible. I've known Ted Grambo for many years. Um, he's very calm, he's very level, and I haven't seen him this jazzed and excited about a new product for a very, very long time. The 15 frames per second function is right up his alley. The actual speed of the focusing, uh, I was quite blown away by. Its ability to focus on moving objects is just blown away. Any other, I guess, point and shoot camera has taken it to another level. Uh, there was a particular shot with uh, a little girl on the boogie board, and she was just coming straight at the camera, and high speed sequence, all in focus, right to her eyes as it filled the frame. Some key shots that stood out to me from Ted. Nikki, the female model on the first day, paddling, five shots, water droplets, crystal. Her eyes were pinned as well. Uh, Lincoln surfing at North Stradbroke Island. Very clear, very fast. Really stands up against anything. Drones and remote control helicopters are a part of photography and videography in this day and age. They're becoming commonplace, they're everywhere. But with this camera, it's so light and easy to use, it increases battery time. And the shots we got from it surprised everyone so far. So I'm really impressed with the optics of this camera. F-mount adapter was an unexpected bonus. Uh, taking your existing DSLR lenses and putting it on this guy, giving you a crop factor of 2.7, you're zooming to the moon, you're zooming the full, full frame of the sun. What you can do with that piece of equipment is off the chart. It's not going to replace my professional cameras, it's going to complement them. It's the new sibling to my Nikon family. It's so small, it doesn't take any room, it's always in our bags, we take it everywhere we go.